My name is Kyle Schutte, I'm the executive chef here at 5420 uh, in Hollywood, California. Today we're going to be making oyster ice cream. So a lot of people have never heard of this or tasted it. It's really big in Japan right now, but actually it's got a, a pretty rich history here in America. It was actually served at the White House for President Madison. Alright, so the first step to this oyster ice cream is obviously shucking the oysters. So these are local uh, West Coast oysters from Carlsbad. So we want everything we can get, the brine, the liqueur, the meat, the muscle, just everything, okay? So when you're shucking oysters, you want to be very careful. I like to take a towel, roll it up, put the oyster on there, and then cover the oyster. That way you're not going to gouge yourself. I'm going to take the tip of the oyster knife and put it right in this little crease here. And when you feel the groove, you're just going to pop it. Wipe it off real quick to make sure you don't get any shell in there. It's just that easy. So now that we've got our oysters shucked, okay, it's time to make the ice cream base. Simple four ingredients. Cream, milk, eggs, these are just yolks, okay, and sugar. Now even though this is a savory ice cream, you gotta put sugar in, otherwise it's just gonna turn into a rock in the freezer. Um, but we obviously reduce the amount of sugar a little bit of salt and we're going to puree this. All right, so now that we've got our ice cream base pureed, I'm going to take a vacuum bag, add the oysters, the oyster liqueur. Now we're going to add our ice cream base. Now that we've got everything in the bag, it's time to seal it up. Now the benefit to this is uh, when we sous vide it in this bag, you know, flavors escaping obviously, um, and the whole custard is going to be cooked uniform. So now that it's sealed, we're just going to drop it in this water bath. It's 182 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to let that cook for 20 minutes. All right, so our ice cream is cooked for 20 minutes. It's got an internal temperature of 182 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we got it chill it down. Now ideally you would want to rest this in a refrigerator overnight so all the proteins really have time to settle and congeal but right now we're just going to shock it in an ice bath. Alright so now that it's chilled down we're just going to strain it into the bowl of our mixer. We're just squeezing out as much juice as possible. Alright so now it's time to spin our ice cream. So we use liquid nitrogen. Now the benefit of using liquid nitrogen is it spins the ice cream so fast, typically less than a minute, that the ice cream base doesn't have time to form any ice crystals or incorporate any air. So it's incredibly dense and smooth. So we're just pouring the nitrogen straight into the base. The nitrogen evaporates out, leaves nothing behind but frozen ice cream. Like that, we have spun ice cream. Just like that, we have our oyster ice cream.